For all our lives, you have been faithful. And you have been good. So we offer up the sacrifice of praise. And we bless you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. We do honor the Lord for being here on today. I respect the Spirit of Christ. Amen to all of you, our Heavenly Father's children. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. Amen to all of our mothers. Amen. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Amen. Glad to see you. Amen. And glad that you are chosen today to worship with us on this morning. Our announcements are Wednesday we'll be back for our midweek Bible study. Amen. You don't want to miss it. We're having an awesome time. Amen. Learning. Uh, from the Word of God, and we want you to be with us on Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and then we'll be back next Sunday, amen, for our Sunday morning worship, amen. Praise God for all of you, amen, who are here, amen, amen. all the way from Boston, Massachusetts. All right. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Glad to see you, amen. Praise God. God brought Brother Devontae, all the way back from California. Yes. Amen. 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 And Sister Poole. Amen. Uh, Amen. Finished that first year. Amen. 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 That first third year, something like that. That first third year was something like that. Amen. We praise God for And also, Jalen graduated yesterday. Yes, he did. environmental change. All right. All right. Or climate change. Come on. Uh, Y'all know I'm a school teacher, so guess what? Definitions. Environmental is an adjective. And it's defined as of or relating to the totality of things, conditions, influences, cultural forces that surround and shape the life of a person. Um, change is to make the form, the nature, the content, a future course, etc., of different, of something different, excuse me, from what it is or from what it would be if left alone. So an environmental change is a change or disturbance of the environment most often caused by human influences and natural ec ecological processes. Mm -hmm. If there is a change in something, then that means it is different. Mm -hmm. And as we talked on last Sunday, the young man at the pool of Bethesda in John, the fifth chapter, went there for a reason, for a purpose. And it's very important that you understand that on today. He went there for a purpose. And the purpose was to get better. That was the purpose. He wasn't the only one that went there, but there was many people, as the Bible says, there, there were a multitude of people that went there for one purpose and one purpose only. It was to get better. They had a dream. And the dream was that their, that, that their future would be different than their present. 
that their future will be different than their past. So I want to talk to you today about that dream just for a second. Because they understood that the condition they were in wasn't the condition they were supposed to be in. And so they went with a purpose, they went with a dream to have it changed. Mm -hmm. But I need to take you to another passage in the Bible to really point this out. Mark the fifth chapter. Mm -hmm. There's a song that, that um, the two of them really, that really been bothering me all week. Yes. Um, Y'all know I don't sing. <laughs> Pastor Tanya is a singer. And and to be honest with your mom is here, she's she's a singer. So we've been having they've been having singing lessons at the, at the house <laughs> on this week of uh, trying to get somebody to learn how to sing. But anyway, <laughs> not, but um but uh um there's a song, you know I I don't sing. Uh, but he said, I'm so glad. Last always. Yes, sir. All right, anyway. Okay. That sounds better. But anyway, anyway. So, so, John, the fifth chapter. Says, we've been made endure for a night. Keep the faith in book. Be all right. Uh, so, I'm so glad trouble don't last. Always. Always. In John, the fifth chapter. Oh, excuse me, Mark the fifth chapter. It starts off with the 21st verse. It starts off with Jairus, who's a leader in the synagogue. He and his daughter is not doing well. And he decides that he has this, this hope, he has this, this, this dream in mind that since my daughter is not doing well, if I go to Jesus, and he, he went to Jesus and he said, Jesus, if you come, and lay your hands on my daughter, she will live. Mm -hmm. So she's at the point of death. And if you come and lay your hands on her, she will live. And 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 that was his that was his hope. That was his dream is that he, he wanted his daughter to live. And so so therefore he went to Jesus and said, Look, come mm -hmm. and and lay your hands on my daughter. And so so she can live. Matter of fact, matter of fact, what he did was he changed his environment. Because as a, as a ruler of the synagogue, he taught against what Jesus was doing. He taught against who Jesus was. And so therefore, when his, his situation got so to the point to where he turned his back on his environment and went to Jesus. Mm -hmm. On the way there, once he got there, Jesus says, okay, let's go. But on the way to Jairus' house, the Bible says in that 25th verse that there's this woman who had a situation for 12 years. Mm -hmm. She had dreamed about getting better. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, her dream and her hope of, of getting better led her to go to the doctor many times. Mm -hmm. Scripture says that she went to many positions mm -hmm. and spent all of her money mm -hmm. because she had this hope of getting better. She had this dream of getting better, so she went to a lot of people to try to get better. And it seemed as if every time she went to someone, she did not get the right prognosis. Come on, sir. So she gets a, a wrong prognosis from this one, and so she goes to another one. But each time, Gilbert, she went, the, her, 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 her dream and her hope got hit. I'm supposed to, this one is supposed to be a specialist, so I'm going to this specialist to, to find out what's wrong so they can get it corrected. And when they say they can't do nothing, then that, that takes my, my, my hope and my dreams take a hit. Mm -hmm. And then I start losing the ability to dream. Mm -hmm. I start losing the ability to have hope because every time I go, I get the wrong response. Mm -hmm. I get a no instead of a yes. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that she went and she got worse. Mm. Ah. Have you ever been in a position where someone is supposed to help you? Come on, sir. But instead of helping you, they, they, they cause you to get further mm -hmm. in debt. Mm -hmm. 
They cause you to, to hurt more when they're supposed to be the ones to help you. And here this woman went to all these doctors and spent all of her money, Good money. and didn't get any better. Amen. But she got broke. Mm -hmm. She did. Financially and emotionally. Come on. Hey. So doubt crept in. Because every time she went to the doctor, her dreams were squashed. Hmm. But in the 27th verse, it says that she heard about Jesus. And when she heard about Jesus, her dreams and hopes that were smashed came back to life. Because she says to herself, if I can just touch him, I will be made whole. She changed her environment because she changed from going to one type of doctor to going to another. Matter of fact, she wasn't even supposed to be in the environment that she was in now because of her condition. She was supposed to be segregated. She was supposed to be set, set apart, but she said, she heard about Jesus and she said, if I can go to him and touch him, I will be all right. So she started dreaming again. Uh, she dared to dream again. And, 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 and because she, she entered into a personal relationship with Jesus, he then says to her, he says, daughter, your faith has made you well. When she changed her environment, she began to dream again and she entered into that personal relationship with someone she didn't know because once she touched him, she, he called her daughter. Your faith has made you whole. I want to talk to you today about dreaming again. Because whenever you change your environment, it then changes your mindset and it gets you to start dreaming again. Mm, okay. Genesis 39. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back tomorrow. Genesis 39. There's this guy by the name of Joseph who had some brothers. The scripture says that he dreamed, he dreamed a dream. And he went and he told his brothers about his dream. The Bible says that his brothers, when they heard the dream, they got upset with him. Because the dream made them, in the dream, they were to, to bow down to their younger brother. And so they did not like the fact that they were going to have to bow down to the younger brother. So therefore, they did not like the dream and they became mad at him. They became upset with him because they did not like the dream. Can I stop there and tell you this? Sometimes you can't tell everybody mm. your dream. Come on, sir. Even though they supposed to be celebrating with you, mm -hmm. a lot of them will plot your demise because your dream is your dream and it's what God gave you and, 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 and they are jealous of what God is doing for you. So sometimes you got to hold on to your dream. Well, I can prove it to you. Because right back there in Mark, the fifth chapter, in the 35th verse, there were some dream killers that showed up. Because I told you, Jarius had a dream that his daughter would get healed. Once he goes to Jesus. So the dream killers came and they said, they said this, they said, they said, they said, Jerry, your daughter is dead. Don't bother him anymore. They're dream killers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> watch this, watch this. Dream killers also, in, in Mark, the, 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 the tenth chapter, dream killers also try to keep blind by the mayors quiet. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Blind Bartimaeus is over by the, by, by the, by the side and, and he hears that Jesus is coming in and he starts calling out, Jesus, thou, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they said, be quiet. 
Because dream killers don't all don't want to see you prosper. Come on, sir. And so, so, so these dream killers came and they they told they told Jerry, your daughter's dead. Watch this, watch this, watch this. They were telling the truth, but it wasn't his truth. They were telling Jarius what really had happened. Your daughter is dead, but that wasn't his truth. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Let me go to a song since y'all looking at me funny. Let me go to a song. Albertina Walker says, says it like this. Makes no difference. What the problem? I can go to God in prayer. I have this blessed assurance that I can go to God in prayer. He will take your gloom and sorrow, turn it into light. Whenever you have a situation and you take it to God, there are going to be people that's going to try to bring it back and going to try to bring you back to their reality when it's not your reality, but it's theirs. And so they were trying to get Jairus to understand that the reality is your daughter's dead. But Jairus had a dream. And his dream was that his daughter was going to live. Oh, watch this, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Sometimes storms come up. To get you out of your dream. Let me go back to Genesis right quick. Because the brothers didn't like Joseph's dream, they plotted against him. They set a trap for him. When he fell in the trap, they decided we're going to sell him in the slave. All because they didn't like his dream. You gotta watch for a boat setting traps for you because they don't like your dream. But then, not only did they sell him to slavery, but they went and lied and said he was dead. All because they did not like his dream. They were dream killers. But watch this every storm is not set to kill you. Because Joseph had to go through some storms. He was sold into slavery. Then he was lied on. He was seduced, excuse me. Then he was lied on. Then he was thrown into jail. Then he was forgotten. But in the end, the same ones that, that plotted against him had to come back and stand in front of him for him to bless us. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, all right. All right, watch this, watch this. <coughs> So some storms are, 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 are because of your dreams, and, but, but it, it, if you hold on to God and, 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 and understand this, that, 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 that if you don't grow weary, then you will reap if you faint nah. not. Sir. Uh, so, so they come to Jairus and they tell him, your daughter's dead. Don't trouble the master anymore. Watch what happens. Jarius doesn't do a thing. He doesn't have time to do a thing. Right there in the 36th verse, Mark, the fifth chapter, Jarius doesn't do a thing. He does not have time to do a thing. Because it says there, it says, as soon as Jesus heard this word, heard the word, Jesus spoke. Jesus didn't give that, 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 that word enough time to, to grow in Jairus' body, in Jairus' spirit. He said, as soon as Jesus heard it, Jesus spoke to him and said, don't be afraid, only believe. When you take your dreams to Jesus, when the killers, the dream killers come, Jesus is going to stand guard of the dream. Even though it might be a reality, but it's not a reality to God. Watch this. Songwriter picked it up and said it this way. It says, whose report? 
do you believe? The response was, the proper response was, we shall believe the report of the Lord. Why? Because his report says what? Says I'm healed. His report says I'm filled. His report says I'm free. His report says I have victory. Philippians 4 and 8 says this. It says, finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, then guess what? Think on these things. Jesus didn't give the words of the enemy time to grow. He, he, he made sure that Jairus kept his focus on him. Woo! Now watch this. Verse 37. Look what Jesus do. Jesus limits the people that can go with him to Jairus' house. Says he only takes Peter, James, and John. So he leaves everybody else behind. Watch this. You might have a cheering section, but the cheering section can't go and put you everywhere God wants to take you. Come on, sir. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So so Jesus, Jesus limits who goes with him. But then watch this. Verses 38 through 40. Watch what happened. They get to Jairus' house, to the old environment, to the previous environment. There are too many folk there. My dad always told me, he said, kill him. Trouble follows crowds. I said, okay. I didn't know what he meant until I became an adult. Because then you realize the more people you hang with, the more stuff you can get into. And so they get back to Jairus' old environment and there's too many folk there. Too much confusion. Sometimes when you, 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 you talk to the, to the wrong folk and they bring a whole bunch of confusion in your life. You tell them what God is saying, but, but they want to tell you what God said. When God didn't talk to them, he talked to you. And so there's too much confusion in Jairus' house. Watch this. And I can tell you, I'm going to show you why it was a bad environment because the bad environment, the people did not recognize Jesus when he walked in. Jerry said, go back in the beginning, he said, if I go to Jesus, then my daughter will live. So somebody at the house knew that Jerry was going to see Jesus. I can prove it because they came to him and said, your daughter's dead. Don't trouble him no more. So they knew what Jerry was. But when Jesus gets to the house, they did not recognize who Jesus was. You mean there's the wrong folk in your environment. Mm. <laughs> okay, there you go, God. First Corinthians 15 and 33. I was wondering how I was going to throw this in there. First Corinthians 15 and 33 lets us know that, 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 that it tells us, be not deceived, evil communication corrupts good men. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you talk, you hang, you got the wrong folk around you, and they say the wrong thing, and then it contaminates what you believe. Mm. So these folks didn't recognize that Jesus was on the scene. So Jesus asked me, he says, um, what y'all making all this noise for? What you crying for? The girl that he did. The Bible says they laughed at him and, and, and made fun of him and picked at him because they didn't know who he was. <laughs> they didn't respect the person of Jesus. How many people you hang with that don't respect the, the Jesus in you? I can tell you, I tell you how they don't respect you because they curse in front of you. Mm -hmm. They make fun of the church in front of you. They, they make fun of, of you going to church in front of you. And they talk about, so they don't respect the person of Jesus. And these people didn't respect the person of Jesus. So guess what happens? Jesus said, okay, it's time to change this environment. The Bible says he kicked them out. He kicked them out in order to do what he came there to do. Sometimes we can't get what God has for us because we are holding on to some stuff that needs to be kicked out. 
I know it ain't none of y'all, so I'm just talking in general. I know this ain't none of y'all, so I'm just talking in general. Cause I, I know that ain't none of y'all still got a pack of cigarettes on your on your on your fireplace, trying to remember when I used to when I used to smoke. Uh, you got that bottle of, of, of gin up in the cabinet, remembering. You know I used to drink, but I, that's just a, that's just something to, to remind me of what God brought me from. What You got you got to kick things out. Some friends, y'all, okay, okay. Some friends you got to stop hanging with because they don't get you where you want to be. Why do I want to hang with a bunch of single friends? And, and I'm trying to work on my marriage. I want to be married, but I'm gonna hang with a bunch of single friends. No, I want to find me some married folk. Okay. I, okay, I, I'm not going to use that. I, yeah, yeah. Jesus kicks him out. So he can move on Jairus' behalf. Watch this. This is the fun part about it. Jairus did not protest the eviction. He did not protest no, Jesus, this is my family. They got to stay. He didn't know. He, he, when Jesus kicked him out, Jerry said, he opened the door. See you. <laughs> Sometimes we want to hold on to the environment because we're comfortable in that environment, but that environment is what's holding us back from dreaming again. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Told you, Joseph, back in Genesis, thrown in jail. Helped some people out. And he told them, look, when you get out, just remember me. But they forgot about Joseph. But it did not stop him from dreaming. Because watch this. His dream was not in what was going to happen. His, 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 his confidence was not in what was going to happen. His confidence was in the person that gave him the dream. Because you got to understand this, that God speaks to us through dreams. Uh, dreams are the, are the launch pad for, for something great. And so, and so you have to guard, as the scripture tells you, you have to guard your heart and your mind. Because that's what God speaks to you at, in your heart and in your mind. So Jairus doesn't hold on to him. He kicks him out. Uh, watch this. Watch this. Got to go back to Joseph for a second. Some dreams have layers in them. We live in North Carolina. Y'all know what North Carolina is famous for, right? <coughs> North Carolina is famous for what? What, I, what is the slogan for North Carolina? First and flight. The Wright brothers. The ones who, who discovered airplanes and flying. Do you not know that they failed many times before? It became a success. But because they failed did not mean they gave up. Because Joseph was, 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 was in, a, in, a, in a ditch, in a trap, didn't mean he gave up. Because he was sold into slavery doesn't mean he gave up. Because he was lying on, he did not give up. Because they, he was forgotten, he did not give up. He held on, watch this, to the person that gave him the dream. He held on to God. John, in, in Revelation, the first chapter, was banished to the Isle of Patmos because of the gospel. He preached the gospel, and, and so therefore, as a matter of fact, him preaching the gospel and standing up for God, he was banished to the Isle of Patmos. But the Bible says, in the in the tenth verse of the first chapter, it says he says that I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I might he might have been banished to the Isle of Patmos, but he guess what? 
He had, a, he had a dream on the Lord's day and God spoke to him in his spirit. And so what I'm telling you today is when you change your environment, it then causes you to dream again. What is that dream that's been on the inside of you that's been dormant for a long time? And every time you tried to revisit it, somebody was there to always put, to push it back down. Always had someone come in and tell you that the dream is dead. I'm telling you, you got to change your environment so that you can do what? Dream again. The Bible says that after Jesus kicked him out, he goes over to the girl and he grabs her by the hand. And he tells her, little girl, arise. The little girl gets up like she's never been asleep. Jesus commands y'all give her something to eat. Mm -hmm. She got to get her strength back. <laughs> Doesn't say this in the Bible, but if you just allow me to go in my mind just 15 seconds. When Jerry's opened the door and that girl walks out, everybody that doubted mm -hmm. was left. Cause see, cause see, give, give, this is just me. I, I'd be, I'd be right there. Oh, I thought she was dead. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was dead. Yeah. I'd, I'd have been right there, cause, cause I want you. Uh, I thought you said she was. Mm -hmm. Look like she's alive now. And, and watch this, watch this. You don't have to say anything when that dream comes to pass. All you got to do is just step back and let God show. Because Jesus walks out. And when, when she walks out with Jesus, then, then, then they understand who Jesus really is. You don't have to fight over the dream. You just got to Believe in Jesus. The Bible says that Joseph dreamed again. No matter the fact that his brothers didn't, didn't like the dream, or his brothers started hating him, it says he did what he dreamed again. Many times, our environmental change comes when we make the change. Sometimes we want we, we want we want God to do all the all the work, but but there are times when you, you gotta actually make that change. You gotta actually. I was talking to someone uh, the other week, uh, Dylan, and, and and we were talking about about the, about them, and and they they wanted they were looking for they were looking for a, a move, and and they were looking to move and and do some do some different things than what they were doing. And I told them, I said, you know, because they were talking about the money situation. They said, I gotta have, I gotta have this amount of money before I move. Uh, the the job gotta give me this amount of hour. So I, before I move, and I said, sometimes you gotta make the move in order to make the money. <laughs> we always, we always want to have our stipulations on our change. Well, sometimes you gotta change first. And then everything else will fall in line. Matter of fact, matter of fact, go back to the scene. Money, money, I'm I got, I got something in my mind about that singer. Yeah, but I got, I can watch that. Y'all gonna surprise y'all one of these songs. Go ahead, sir. I got, I got something in my mind about that. I, 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 I ain't gonna say it down, but I got something in my mind about that singer. Uh, I got, I got something in my mind about that singer. I got something in my mind about that singer. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but the song says this. The song says, put your trust in Jesus. And he'll make everything all right. My grandson said this the other month. Was it last month, I think it was? He said, North Carolina has bipolar weather. <laughs> Great. It'd be hot one day, huh? and the next day is cold. Yes, sir. 
everybody's sniffling and, and, and everything because, because you don't know what type of weather it's gonna be. You gotta have a big coat on one day and then and then seven hours later it's burning up and you 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 taking stuff off and you sweating and everything. You got the, the heat on when you get in the car and a couple hours later you gotta put the air conditioner on because it's burning up. It got bipolar weather. Some of us have bipolar spirituality. Ooh. Ooh. We want God to move, but we don't want to change the environment. Or we come to church and we get an environmental change for these two hours. But as soon as church is over with, we go back to the old environment. Deacon Poop, I'm gonna talk, talk about a couple of folk. And I need your I need your help, Deacon Poop. Because I'm getting some trouble. But I know Deacon Poop, I know they respect you. So they're not gonna they're not gonna say too much, you know, at this moment. Deacon Poop, I get cold real easy. And I be cold at times. And I have a little space heater at the house. Big pool, I go get the space heater, plug it up, and have it aim it directly at me because it be cold in the house. And there's some folk that be taking pictures and be talking about me. You know, you know, communicating back and forth, talking about me and, 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 and talking about how, how I look because I got my little space heater right there in front of me. But because it be cold. And I be telling them it be cold. But but they they, they, they so so in order in order for me to be in a comfortable state, I have to go get the space heater. Watch this. And they take they talk about me and they take pictures. But you know what, it does not change. Whenever I get cold, guess what I'm gonna do? I wanna change my environment. You have to get to the place to where you are tired of the situation you're in and you wanna change your environment. That's what Jarius did. He was tired, that's what the woman with the issue was. She was tired and so therefore, they went and changed their environment and then changing their environment caused them to dream again. You were excited about the first time you got the dream. The first time that hope was there, you were excited about it, but you kept going in and it never came to pass and so you started losing hope. Just like that woman who kept going to the doctor and every time she goes, she loses hope. Just like the man at the pool of Bethesda, for 38 years he's there and, and, and every time the, the, the angel came to, to, to move the water and he couldn't get in, he started losing hope. And so when Jesus shows up and asks him, do you want to be made whole? Instead of him saying yes, he gives an excuse because he lost hope. Can I tell you something? Your hope is in Jesus. And when you change your environment, you change your mindset. I'm finished. Y'all stand up here. A blessing delayed does not mean that the blessing is denied. It simply means you got to keep on keeping on. No matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, you got to keep on keeping on. No matter no matter who comes and tries to kill your dream, you've got to continue to dream again. Why? Because Jerry has made up in his mind. If you can come touch my daughter, she's gonna be made whole. The woman with the issue made up in her mind, if I could just touch his garment. Blind Bartimaeus said, if I can get his attention, I'm going to be giving my, my, my sight. 
I have a dream. And so therefore, I've got to make the necessary move in order for my dream to come to pass. Don't allow your environment to hold you back. Environmental change comes when the, per the people that had the means to do it actually does it. You want environmental change? Stop using plastic bottles. <laughs> you want environmental change? Stop using stuff that's going to, that's going to damage the ozone layer. You want a spiritual environment change? Stop hanging around people that can kill or talk against your dream. Corrupt communication messes up good manners. Hanging around the wrong folk. It's, it's either one way or the other. Either you're going to influence them or they're going to influence you. So how many times have we held back from talking about Jesus because our friends don't want to hear about that. Our family don't want to talk about that. Come on. So who's influencing who? Who needs to change the environment? Last time I checked, it said, greater is he that's within me than he that is within the world. So who's winning? Who's winning? I do believe that God is the one that comes out on top all the time. So Father, we thank you and we praise you for the opportunity you've given us to dream again. No matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, You've placed your word within us. And your word brings life. Your word is life. And so therefore, God, in order for your word to, to come to life, we've got to dream again. We've got, we've got to put our hope and our trust in you, our hope and our trust in your word. And no matter what the situation is that we face, we understand, God, that it's your word that lives. It's your word that moves. And it's, it's in your word that we have our being. So therefore, God, we thank you for the opportunity or for the, the, the wherewithal, for the mindset to dream again. No matter what, the, your word tells us that when the enemy shall come in like a flood, your spirit lifts up the standard. And so, Father, we thank you, God, for expelling those things that, that come against your word. We thank you, God, for, for getting rid of those people, those, those situations, those circumstances that come against your word coming alive in us. And we give, we give you, God, complete control over our mind and over our spirit so that you can speak to us in the dream. Speak to us, God, in our spirit, man. Speak to us, God. God, you speak, we will listen. You speak and we will move. Thank you, God, for the ability to dream again. Even though we go through storms, we thank you for the victory in the storm. Because we hold on to your word. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word Stands forever. And we glorify you. We praise you God. Now Father. We thank you for. This day in which we celebrate. Mothers. God we celebrate moms every day. But we thank you for this. Global day. Where we celebrate our mothers. Thank you for every mother God. Those here. Those that are not. God, we thank you, God, for our mothers, God, who've, who've transitioned and who are resting in your arms. We thank you, God, for the lessons that we've learned. 
and what, what takes us from day to day, God. We pray even now, God, that you strengthen these mothers that are here. We pray, God, that you strengthen each and every mother. God, give them, continue to give them the strength to be the, the lead in the family, to lead that family to, to you, God. God, be that, be that strength, God, that they need in times of difficulty, God. Be that strength, God, that they need to make it in this last and evil day. And as we prepare to depart this place but never your presence, God, I thank you for, for rest. I thank you for rest. I thank you for peace. And I thank you for good food. Be with us as we go from this place. Bring us back together at the time that is appointed. God, we love you and we adore you. We place no one before you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And again I say to you, dream again. God bless. You're dismissed.